to carry or not to carry a knife. That was the issue and it has evolved over time. I have gone back and forth on the issue until it eventually became resolved in my mind. If you are a boater working around ropes, carry a knife. In 1987, we made the river canoeing wall chart. 24 by 36 inches, it was the first of a series of wall charts. The boater is a self-portrait and was used by the graphic artist to draw an accurate graphic. We listed the knife as optional. It indicated our hesitancy on the issue. A carabiner was substituted on the waistband. Eliminated from the photo was my Tecna knife fastened to the waistband on the life jacket. It made a fashion statement among boaters, but even at this early date, its necessity was questioned. The common joke was that the primary use for the knife was to spread peanut butter at lunch. Note that a reoccurring theme on this and other graphics is the use of ropes and throw bags. The graphic artist who did our early wall charts also did the interpretive sign at the put-in on the middle Yakagani. A point of entry sign, it suggests the equipment a boater should have. Helmet, whistle, life jacket, wetsuit, dry suit, or paddling jacket, poly undergarment, throw bag, paddle, and waterproof shoes. Careful inspection reveals that the knife is airbrushed out or minimized from the graphic. It is not listed as a recommended item either. Note the inclusion of ropes in a throw bag and the possible entanglement with loose ropes in the boat. This is possible justification for carrying a knife which has been minimized. My wavering on whether to carry or not to carry a knife ended with a phone call from a lawyer. A line from the raft to shore got wrapped around the calf of a woman. Pulled by the current, the raft cinched the line around her leg, causing severe damage. The guide wasn't able to cut the line because he didn't have a knife. The company said he was supposed to have a knife. However, the company didn't provide it and the guy didn't have the money to buy one. I suspect that the lawsuit was eventually settled satisfactorily, but my takeaway was the rule that if you are working around ropes, you need to have a knife with you. In 2009, when we made the river kayaking wall chart, the knife was included on the graphic of the paddler. To carry or not to carry. The recommendation was to carry a knife. When selecting a knife, consider the following. It should be easily accessible. Mount it flush on the life jacket to reduce becoming snagged. The knife should be firmly secure in the sheath and the sheath should prevent the knife from accidentally cutting through it. The blunt tip reduces the accidentally puncturing and deflating of a tube. The serrated edge and curved blade aid in cutting on a pulling stroke. Consult the literature on the proper use of knives in rescue. The use of knives and saws in extracting victims can and have resulted in additional harm to the victim. Hopefully your knife remains sheathed, never used, and perhaps used to spread peanut butter. In conclusion, to carry or not to carry. Anytime there are ropes being used, the recommendation is to carry.